looks like one of the birds has gone. They were both there this morning when I woke. I woke up quite. It's stretching its wings there, look. Moving along the branch. Jumped over there now. Can't really see it very well. Through there. Anyway, I woke up quite early this morning as I left the radio on, I think. I must have turned it on and uh, I woke up first. And all the news was about farmers, how this wet weather. Look at that out there. It's still a bit, you know, overcast and wet out there. You can hardly see the cathedral. It's under a fine mist today. Anyway, they're talking about the farmers. How their crops are being ruined by all this rain and how they might, you know, lose out. And then, of course, they're talking about uh, Marks and Spencers. Apparently, their results came in. They're 7% down. They haven't sold as many summer clothes. Surprise, surprise. And they're all up in arms saying, oh, what's the name of this guy? Mark bought Dynich or something. He's got a 4% rise in his uh, pay. When... Uh, Marks and Spencers is losing money, apart from making a little bit more extra on their food sales. But what do you expect? What I think is that why do they expect to always make more and more money? You know, that's what they want. They just want to look. Guys doing the old uh, scrimming. They just want to make more and more money, irrespective of what the situation. It's tipping down with rain. People can't get out to the shops. People don't want to buy summer dresses and sandals, you know, and the pour of rain. If they haven't stopped lots of... Well, it's a bit noisy out there now. If they haven't stopped lots of wedding and boots, and they're not going to make, you know, the kind of profits they did before. Why can't they accept that? No, they've got to make huge profits. Usually the same people, you know, selling stuff very often that's going to go in the bin at the end of uh, this season whatever it is anyway i feel sorry for the farmers though, and the dairy farmers in particular they're complaining because they're not getting they're going to have a i mean a seven percent cut for them in the uh, money they get from the milk processors a lot of these farmers dairy farmers sell their their produce their their, their milk cream and whatever it is they produce to uh, to the processors they're the ones who sell it on to the supermarkets and the farmers they more for a long while now a lot of them are producing milk at a loss practically we've got to pay more for our milk but like you I like to pay as little as I can but if uh, the real price is more to have that better to do that we'll have milk coming in from the Middle East if we don't like the oil <laughs> bye for now